Hello everybody. Every year I'm in Blackpool. I'm here. I made it. <laughs> oh, what a dick. You'll never guess. You'll never guess what happened. This is take two. You know what happened at, um, when Steve was showing me sex on the beach? What happened was, I forgot to press play. <laughs> and I did it again. So, um, after we'd done, what, hour and a half? Hour? Sorry? Hour and a half. After we'd done an hour and a half, I forgot to press start. It is um, recording. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Welcome to my show. I'm in Blackpool, as you know. Um, I've been telling you all about it all week. And um, I'm here with the lovely Sandy and Steve at paradiseblackpool.co. An amazing place, and we'll tell you about that in a minute. So much fun up here. I'm always so excited to get here, but this show is going to be amazing because... I've got another two ladies. Hello, girls. <laughs> and what they do? <laughs> this is going to be like a triple X, except it is. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> so, um, you know my rules. Get naked. Strip off. Sit with your partner. Sit on your partner. Sit with your partners. But tell me about it. I'm your queen. I should know these things, you know? And um, <laughs> I'm almost in panic mode here because I've got to get it right. Because the first one was perfect, wasn't it? It was perfect, yeah? So I've got to make sure this one's perfect. You know me. It's got to be done right. So um, <laughs> we've got to get this sorted. I'm at Paradise Blackpool in um, Blackpool. So let's go. <laughs> You know my rules, sort it out, get naked, sip your partner, get the ladies a drink. Sex on the beach is a good one. Steve is going to make another one, he's going to invent one tonight. And he's oh, I'm puffed out. He's going to invent one, we're going to do that in a minute. And he's got um, an announcement to make about that. So that would be good. So um, I'm going to play my next tune. And then... <laughs> I'm going to get a drink and I sit down because I'm, I'm fucked. <laughs> no, yeah, you're not. <laughs> in your dreams. <laughs> I live in hope. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get all the party started. Let's get on with it. Steve, will you play my first tune, please? And we'll be right back after this. Oh, dear. That was hard work. <laughs> Discover 
some new steps Beautiful the new routine enjoyed by few back then The bricks of joy to young and old to ladies and to men All the dancers come to near fly You can hear them clap and cheer By car or bus, by train or tram For the party atmosphere You can look to your left, look to your right And all that you will see is everybody having fun Welcome back. <laughs> right, I'm here with the lovely Mel. Nearly forgot. <laughs> Beautiful Kay. <laughs> you couldn't forget. <laughs> And the wonderful, the beautiful, the perfect, the most gorgeous person, and my bestie, Sandy Wild. I love to death. And, yeah, Steve in the background. <laughs> That's a new there. I'm glad we've got just a wee bit more than Steve. Just a little bit. We should have got a little bit, a little bit less. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Yeah, and Steve. <laughs> There we go. Anyway, welcome to the show. I'm in Blackpool, as you know. I've been telling everyone for a couple of weeks now. Steve is just coming on, because what we're going to do, and yeah, this is the second tape, because yeah, I forgot to put the press play. Well, no, press record. No, I forgot to press record. But Steve is just coming on, and we're going to talk about paradiseblackpool.co. Link is down there, or up there. It's down here. And um, they're going to tell you about about the hotel a bit, playrooms, free playrooms. I love the playrooms. I've christened one playroom myself with the gorgeous um, bride to be, <laughs> Kerry. <laughs> Thank you, Kerry. <laughs> but they're going to talk about why should you come to Blackpool, you know? And um, I did, yeah, I did. <laughs> just, did I introduce you? Yes, I did. <laughs> But we're at Blackpool, Paradise Hotel. That's paradiseblackpool.co. Give me a lick. There we go. So, guys. Hello, Steve. Good evening, Gloria. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry? <laughs> Why should people come to Blackpool? What is up here for people? Uh, I think Blackpool is still all classed as a bit of a crazy town. I think you're right. And we've mentioned it before, Ben and Dawn without the sun. Yeah, I remember you saying that. And that um, always reminds me of that. I still got fucking sun marble. <laughs> 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 always planning to do, do in Blackpool. Yes. Yeah. Three massive piers. I was up here, was it January, February? Uh, and the arcades were still open, the shops, some yeah. shops were still open. But I just expected everything to be dead, and it wasn't. It was still really good buzzing. No, I mean, I think the promenade's pretty busy all year, all year round. Summer season, obviously. Yeah. 
horrendous, but all year round there, there will be things of the arcades, clubs, pubs, uh, swinging clubs as well, which we've got two. Okay. Obviously, infusion and infusion club that, play. That's where. Um, that's what's that? The name <laughs> what's that? Linda. Remember Linda? Linda. Baby, baby. I'm on my Land Rover. You haven't seen them pictures, have you? Let me show you. <laughs> What happened is, being hostess, I parked my truck outside the club, and um, the guy, the guys that own it, one of them come up. He says, "You seen your Twitter account?" I said, "No." Why? He said, "Look," and he showed me a picture of my Land Rover and one of the swingers posing on the bonnet, and she's done it a few times now. <laughs> it's posed on my car here, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah. Because she surprised me as she came up here. <laughs> so, yeah, Linda, bitch. <laughs> but um, she came out and. We had a great time to be on the beach party. That was an amazing. Very night. good weekend. Amazing that night. Was very, very good. So, um, all the okay. I still haven't seen any donkeys. No, I haven't seen any this year either. <coughs> no, I and I've been waiting because they were offline last time I come up here. No, no. There's a uh, there's a lot of um, the land house, which is the horse and carts up and down. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I haven't seen donkeys for a while. So. No, I haven't seen donkeys. But the weather hasn't been brilliant. No. No, um, I can understand that. And I wanted to ride one of the donkeys, side saddle, you know, posh, <laughs> with me heels <laughs> on, in me red, red sequin dress. I still haven't been able to yet because they're offline. So uh, the clubs are up here, um, all the amusements and the Big Dipper and all that sort of stuff. So there's plenty to do for family, yeah? Pleasure Beach obviously is a big attraction. That's, That's uh, the south side that way, isn't where it? the Big Dipper. Yeah. And if anybody saw the news today, I think it was 100 years old today. It was on the news. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that was the, when it was erected or built, it was the biggest in the world, wasn't it? It was. It was the biggest in the world. And um, That's the wooden one, yeah? That's the wooden one. The wooden one, one, one yeah. yeah. So the, the good thing about Blackpool is, obviously we're close to the promenade. Um, we've never been so busy. Lots of people come, but there's loads to do in the day. Yes. yes. You know, um, some people schedule their trips out and you know there's the My sea man, life yeah. there's the sea life center there's madame to souls there's the, the tower, tower. There, there's the dungeons there's literally everything you could think of you can find there's the zoo um anything you want you, yeah the trams run all uh, up until two o'clock in the morning i got honked at last time um, Lucky you. Because <laughs> you just don't think, you know, you don't have trams where I am, so you just walk across. Yeah. You just don't think it's about no, looking I, I and... That, I? <laughs> yeah, a poor statistic is, is I, I think there's six, on average, six people a day are killed by the tram. Six a day? <laughs> uh, sorry, a year. A year. Six a year. Six a day? <laughs> that would be quite just yeah, like busy, you know. but it's not that <laughs> busy. <laughs> If I remember right then, as well, so sorry, the, the switch on next weekend. Illumination well, so switch on next weekend. Oh, so so come, we'll have all the old trams out. So I've come early again. Yeah, you'll have all the. What's new there, Gloria? What is new there? I told him. I've told him one before. But I come up here years ago with my family, the second wife, this one, and um, we drove up in town. It's summer. We drove up in town and we waited till night time. Drove up. When are they going to put the lights on? So we went to a garage and we said, excuse me, can you tell us when they're going to switch the lights on? And they said, yes, September. September, <laughs> 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 it's about June, July, something like that. But anyway, no, I have never seen the lights up there. Well, it's a week tomorrow they go on. Last weekend we had the air show, which was, there was thousands in town. Yeah? Thousands and thousands. Um, and that was on Saturday and Sunday, wasn't it? Yeah, it's big, no? Big um, weather again wasn't that good. Uh, switch on next weekend and that's the start of it then. I mean they estimate on the switch on night that uh, there's 250,000 people what? actually come into the town for, the, for that day, for that night. Plus the fireworks as well soon. Yeah, fireworks. And don't you have a special on the Thursday? A special on the Thursday? Chicken fried rice and. We <laughs> 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 do. For the well, hotel. Oh, um, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, sorry. We, we do have a special on uh, for that weekend because um, it's such mayhem to get into town on the Friday. Okay. So 
um, and last year we did it, it was a big success and we're nearly sold out this year. Uh, we do three nights for the price of for the price of two, so you, if you come on the Thursday you get the Thursday night free. Okay. So you're here parked up ready, avoid all the traffic, avoid yeah. all the chaos of finding parking. I, I know you want to beg me to come, but I'm working that weekend, so Are I you? can't. Yeah. Well, I was going to say you haven't gone home yet. The same as I said to her. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a story to come later. I know. Do you know? And do you know the truth about it? If I wasn't a hostess at the club down there, and I owe my life, I've told you the story, and everyone knows the story, I would fucking move up here. I've told you, I don't know why I beat you to it. Hey? Yeah. I beat you to it. You beat me to it. Well, I could, I could arrange a sick note for you to send down to the boys. Um, <laughs> yeah, cut that bit. Go <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm poorly>. oh. <laughs> so on, Paulie. I feel suddenly faint. Right, we'll play the next one. Well, we haven't mentioned Swindon Swingers, have we? All clip flicks, so I mean, that, and they're all a big part of your life. They are a big part. Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's keep that life, <laughs> please. Yeah. So I'm going to play the next one. You talk amongst yourselves, and then we'll be straight back because Steve is going to show me a brand new cocktail that he's invented. So don't go away. Already. And um, I'm going to play the next one, and this is specially for the beautiful Sandy. And this is always sung by the sexy, the romantic Steve. Behave. <laughs> so, uh, this is for you, Sandy. Thank you. I love you so much. Love you too. See the tree, how big it's grown. But friend, it hasn't been too long. It wasn't big. I laughed at her and she got mad The first day that she planted it was just a twig Then the first snow came and she ran out To brush the snow away so it wouldn't die Came running in all excited Slipped and almost hurt herself And I laughed till I cried she was always young at heart Kinda dumb and kinda smart And I loved her so And I surprised her with a puppy Kept me up all Christmas Eve Two years ago And it would sure embarrass her When I came in from working late Cause I would know that she'd been sitting there and crying Over some sad and silly late, late show And honey, I miss you And I'm being good And I'd love to be with you If only I could She wrecked the car and she was sad And so afraid that I'd be mad But what the heck Though I pretended hard to be Guess you could say she saw through me And hugged my neck I came home unexpectedly And caught her crying needlessly In the middle of the day and it was in the early spring When flowers bloom and robins sing She went away And honey, I miss you And I'm being good And I'd love to be with you If only I could One day while I was not at home While she was there and all alone The angels came Now all I have is memories of honey 
and I wake up nights and call her name. Now my life's an empty stage where honey lived and honey played. small cloud passes overhead and cries down on the flower bed that honey love and see the tree how big it's grown but friend it hasn't been too long it wasn't big and I laughed at her and she got mad the first day that she planted it was just a twig Okay, welcome back. Um, what we're going to do now is Steve is going to make us a cocktail. Now, I have to adjust the camera, so um, I'm hoping that I can go like this. Sorry, girls, but I'm going to have to come off of you now. <laughs> and I'm hoping I'm going to turn around like that, nice and gently, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and then let me put the cock down I the just and then I happens. should be able to zoom in I don't know when the zoom button is there's a zoom button there it is it doesn't take much to get my nipples stuck now Steve yes we're all here you're in are we in focus <laughs> it should be automatic Please don't say things like that. <laughs> Is it turned on? Yeah. Wave. It's way too technical. <laughs> that's it. Uh, can you see me? I can see you. <laughs> Shall I stand on tiptoe? No, you're right. You're good. I want my heels. <laughs> you're good. So I'll put this, I'll just give it a lick. Because it falls over. Okay. Steve, with his new cocktail. Good evening. <laughs> Thank you, girls. Good evening, uh, everybody, and Gloria. Hello. Gloria's asked me to come up with another cocktail. Um, I haven't made it before. We did have a trial run earlier, and it wasn't too good, but this time we got it spot on. So Perfection. I always start with a slice of lemon and some ice. Plenty of ice to keep the temperature down. Uh, I don't like to turn my back on you, but then we're going for... So we decided a shot of Malibu. I've just discovered Malibu. It's not yet. Yeah. Shot of Malibu. Shot of vodka. Just to spice it up a little. I like vodka. And I'm actually going to pour a little dabble of um, Cockburn's in there. Cockburn's. Coburn's. Port. Coburn's Port. Coburn's Port. And a very unusual one, but quite tasty. Oh, blue bayou, caraca, blue caracao, 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 a little bit of blue, and we're going to stir it up and have a little bit of blue, and Gloria's favourite colour, which is the blue, me. <laughs> Much as my shirt as well. Mm. So you haven't got a name for this one. This is one you've been thinking. Well, I have thought of a name, but I'm gonna let you do them. Me and your watchers decide the final name. Okay. Um, so we need. Dark and just lemonade. 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 Just a touch. Flat lemonade, by the way. <laughs> And then finish off, where did I put it? Pineapple. The most level of pineapple. Now I learned pineapple is the, is the swingers, yeah? I learned yesterday, it's got to be upside down, yeah? yeah? Definitely. And then I went on the pineapple app and I thought, oh yeah, it's upside down. It's made it. Uh. <laughs> It's, if you drink pineapple kind of juice, it does something to you. It makes, your it makes it sweet, doesn't it? It's not that I've ever tried my own, but... Ugh, don't put things like that. Not that I've ever tried pineapple juice. If you want me to try it for the sake of science, I will put myself out there. 
Yeah, but... <laughs> That's what he is. Oh, oh my God, you're going to feed me pineapple? Yes. Okay. There you go, girl. Okay. Try that one. <laughs> okay, here we go. No, it's not blue. It's um, um, the initial name for it was the purple armor. Yes, but glorious washers and fans. We're going to have a competition. Oh, um, where we can perhaps perhaps uh, export it worldwide in a new cocktail. So we'll need. You need a better name than the purple helmet. Yep. So I'm going to let Gloria's watchers and fans and friends suggest the name. Big announcement. You finish it. You finish it. Suggest the name for this perfect cocktail, and it's um, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. You can taste the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly enough, with all that, that went in. <laughs> you can... See, it's just sweet, oh, and then it hits you. That's quite nice. Is it? I'm you doing the said... till again, aren't I? You're robbing me. <laughs> <laughs> right, what Steve and Sandy have said, come up with a name for this new cocktail, and what they will do, the winner... I like that. Whoever they think is the winning name... Now you can decide on the winning name. Me? You. Oh. I will decide who wins, okay? Uh, I've got to come round. <laughs> this is a big thing, this is. A big thing. Well, do we want a drum roll? Yeah. Can I have a drum roll, please? <laughs> this is huge. <laughs> this is huge. While we search for a drum roll... Hey, we just did one! We performed very well together! <laughs> I'm going to have another suck of my cock. <laughs> Can I have a suck too? Do you know what? I wish I could do that. I think we need to try it as well. Oh, sorry, yes. And wait, it's cock. you haven't seen how bendy I am yet. Haven't seen what? How bendy I am. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a good night. <laughs> oh. So good. Have you found one? No. No. Okay, we're gonna have to. Okay, girls. We'll have to give it. Can I please have a drum roll for this one? Oh. <laughs> right. What it is? This cocktail. This cocktail. Okay, you saw what go in it, and it's quite. It's really nice. They need a new name for it. Now come up with a name and you suggest a name. I will decide who the best name is. But the winner, the winner will get a free weekend stay at Paradise Black Ball. Thank you to Steve and the lovely Sandy. And this is what it's like up here. It's like a big family. You won't be disappointed coming up here. Thank you for the cocktail. Thank you for the weekend stay. I'm sure I'm going to win. <laughs> <laughs> eBay, I'm thinking. <laughs> no, that could be genuine, genuine. No, definitely, no, definitely. No, we'll no, de no glories. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, get your, get your suggestions out. Contact me, get your suggestions in. I will collate them, get them all together. Yeah. And then I will choose the best name that I think that drink deserves. And watch this space. <laughs> Fucking I'm stripping now, already. Watch this space because you're going to see probably later. You know me, go live on my video. Oh, I had a good night. <laughs> Steve is going to play my next song. And then we're going to get down and dirty with the lovely Mel. <laughs> there she is. Oh, you can't see. I've got to zoom out, haven't I? <laughs> so I'll play this song from Steve. Thank you, Steve. And we'll be right back after this. I've gone totally piecemeal on this, because me and Mel like this song. You want to order another drink before you head over? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Steve, can you get a wee top up? I keep trying to save on the washing. <laughs> I don't worry about that. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm here still. I'm here still. <laughs> Everyone's gone on a fag break, so we're going to talk about me now. <laughs> and um, thank you for that, Steve. But yeah, I'm in Blackpool. Uh, you know my mental health. Um, you know my accident I'd done. I'm always here for you guys. I keep telling you to get out of your comfort zone. Um, and I should practice what I preach, you know? I've still got things that, oh, I couldn't do that. Oh, I couldn't do that. But I've got to practice what I preach and I've got to get out of my comfort zone. And I feel at home here and I think I can do things. Like going up tomorrow and rather than just doing a video with my hand pointing in the camera, I'll be like this on Blackpool Beach out of my comfort zone. And this is what we've got to do. So, you know me, I'm not a shrink, I'm not a nurse, a mental health nurse. I've been there, I've done it, I've got the scars, and I'm here to help you. This is what we do. You've got to help one another, you've got to be there for one another. If you see someone who's a bit, mm, a bit down, just say hello. You'll be surprised what happens. When you walk down the street and you see someone walking towards you, give them a smile just smile at them and you'll be so surprised of their reaction i've had so many smiles back when i park my truck up it's got wildlife photographer on the site and they come over to me because they want to talk to me about it and you just got to be there for people be there for one another and make stuff make make it safe for people you know Definitely. Definitely, 100%. So you know my story. I'm always here for you. You can ask me on Gloria um, on the... Uh, we're going to do that in a minute, actually. That's what we're going to do next. Ask Gloria. And um, you can ask on there. That's clickflixradio.com. Go on to there. I'm an 18 plus, blah, blah, blah. Ask Gloria, go on there. You can ask me any question you want and it's all anonymous. I don't know who you are. If you want to contact me more privately or more directly, GloriaHeesAfan.com, I'll put all the links down there. Contact me directly and I'll talk to you. I'll meet you, I'll ring you, I'll talk to you and I'll, we can get out. But the one thing that you've got to do is reach out. That's the first thing you've got to do. Just reach out. Once you've reached out, you'll be surprised how many people will help you. Isn't that true? Very true. I'd just like to say, and I think it sums it up, I totally agree with what you say, but get out, shout, and play about. Exactly. And with that, Steve's going to play my next song, and then we'll go straight into Ask Gloria. I'm sure, I'm sure my my guests are going to like answer the questions for you and help us. So, with my next song, we'll be right back after this one.
Was it that long, was it? But, but now, oh, good cock. But now it's time for Ask Gloria. So, um, I know I've got a few questions, and I should have opened this up ready, shouldn't I? Get my notebook out. Quick up, come on, quick. <laughs> They're waiting. Oh, wrong one. one. <laughs> and I've got some questions here. 
So um, I'll sit around here. Check the camera. Yep, we're still recording. Now I've got. Um, what do tea girls wear? Party dresses, bikinis, or other stuff like costumes? And do people wear heels, or is it barefoot? At the tea girl day in Swindon Swingers on a Wednesday, from 12 o'clock to 8 o'clock, you can wear whatever you want. Whatever you want. Whatever your thing is, wear it. There's girls there that just wear a nighty. There's girls there that go the full hog. Not as what I do, because I'm a classy bird, you know? <laughs> I'm a classy bird. So um, I go the full hog. But you know, you can wear whatever you, whatever you want to wear, whatever you feel comfortable in, you can wear. And you can get changed there. But any tea girl event, and I can't say what other clubs are like, but I think, yeah, whatever you want to wear, whatever you feel at ease in, wear it, do it. You can experiment, do whatever you want. Same with, same with swinging events, uh, or tea girl events. We always say wear, wear whatever you're comfortable in. Nobody's going to judge you. No, exactly. Uh, so everybody, everybody wears different things. And sometimes nothing. Sometimes nothing. <laughs> no, exactly. So thank you for that question. Now I've got another question, and it's a bit of a long question. So, have you ever been to a tea girl sauna event? Yes. Um, at a gay sauna? Yes. I just wanted to know the vibe. Like, what do girls wear on Wednesday? Is that party vibe? So cute party dresses? Or is it more like costumes? Or is it, as it's a sauna, is it more bikinis and stuff? I'm assuming that you're allowed to wear wigs and boobs on, but would you recommend makeup? Or should I bring up multiple options as I've never done anything like this before and I'm just curious. Exactly the same as the other question. Whatever you feel comfortable with, wear it, do it. Um, not makeup in a sauna though. <laughs> Unless you're washing it off. Oh, do I you? Do. I do. <laughs> does it not melt? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but at the spin and swing is the tea girls don't go in the sauna, obviously, because they uh, don't go right. in there. But I right. do. And I wear a swimsuit in there. So swimsuits, yeah, whatever you want to wear. Is, that, wear. is that the Baywatch one you wore up here for the, for the um... <laughs> a beach party. <laughs> the beach party no, the, the no it's, one. it's not. It's the black one that I've got upstairs oh. to go swimming. So in. what happened to the red panel Anderson? I left that at home. Oh, did you? Yeah, I was going to bring it because we've got to do that video, haven't we? Yeah. Pam and Anderson running along the beach. Oh, rescue someone. And I've got a bit, I've got a bit victim. No, victim, victim, technically. <laughs> it depends how long you plan on leaving me in there. <laughs> <laughs> so we were going to do it. But I haven't bought that one, so we can't do it. Not in the black swimsuit because she didn't wear black, did she? But no, you can wear whatever you want. And yes, I do go in the sauna. And um, I usually go in the sauna on a Sunday after I've been working to get my makeup off. It comes mm. off so good. Yes. So that's what, but no, anything you want to wear is fine. Not a problem at all. Thank you for that question, but just do it. Get out there, get out your comfort zone and do it. And take whatever you like. Whatever you want to wear, whatever tones you want, do it. Just get out there and do it, you'll be fine. My next question. Dear Gloria, I have been told that squirting is pee. Pee, piss, pee. <laughs> is this true? Thank you, Bob. Northampton. Please withhold my name and location. Oh, sorry, Bob. <laughs> Bob. Bob from Northampton. Look, if you, answer, if you ask a question, put that first. And then I can read that and think, OK, I'll withhold it. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> there's surely a lot of Bobs in Northampton. So yeah, there's loads of Bobs. There's no identification. It's not you, Bob, OK? It's not you, mate. It's OK, it's the Bob up the road. It's you, we know. But is P, is squirting, is P? Well, that's a difficult one for me to answer because I know you'll find this hard to believe, but I have got cock, so I don't squirt. But I know some people who have... <laughs> and Sandy are squirters. 
Yes. I didn't know this. So please, can you answer the question for me? Is it P? No. It's not P? No. no. Kay will explain the dynamics of it. <laughs> Come on, Kay. <laughs> so I've, I've recently heard a lot of women saying this, and it's usually women who allow men to mansplain how their to vagina what? works. Mansplain. mansplain. Oh, mansplain. Yeah, got it. So, basically, the vagina is not where the pee comes from. There is a hole just above the vagina, between the clitoris and the opening, called the urethra. The urethra is connected to the kidneys. It is the only tube in your vagina connected to the kidneys. Therefore, the only place where the pee can actually come from. If you have pee coming out of your vaginal opening, you have issues. <laughs> Seek medical attention. The glands within your vagina, they get all nice and wet and juicy when there's a cock or a finger or a fist inside of it. That is where the actual squirt is coming from. That is where the quick release of pussy juice is coming from. It is not pee. It is not connected to the kidneys. There is no way for it to be pee. You can tell by the texture, the look, the taste, everything. If a man says to you that it is pee, it's because he doesn't understand that there's more than one hole down there. He can't find the fucking clitoris half the time, so why listen to him when he tells you how your vagina works? Please feel free to Google or finger yourself and figure it out. <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay. I'm sure she'll give me a demonstration where the clitoris is later. <laughs> I'm hoping. <laughs> but thank you, Bob, from North, sorry, sorry, Northampton, Bob. <laughs> but that is, um, Bob can, you, that is, Bob the, that is the, the um, <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> And now I've found I've got two squirters on board. <laughs> I've never been with a squirter, that is one of my bucket lists. Never been with a squirter or never made someone squirt? Either. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, it's not just you. <laughs> I do have to say, many years ago, that Sonia had a record done, and I don't think we've beat it since, and it was ten squirts in an hour on it. Yeah. Ten? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. See, this is what She's I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is what You've I don't my sheets. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I don't understand about you women. You come, give me more. You come again, give me more. You come again, is that all you got? With me, am I the only one? I come, I want to sleep. <laughs> yeah, see, but see, see if you do it right, we want to sleep after two. Mm. So all these blokes out there haven't done it right. <laughs> well, I am called insatiable me for a reason. Insatiable me. <laughs> Well, uh, uh, don't get, correct me if I'm wrong, but an orgasm is totally different with squirting as well. So it's not. There's more than one. Yes. There's more than one way that a woman orgasms, yes. which is why we can continue to orgasm. Yes. You've got clitoral orgasms, you've got squirting, and you've got the G spot right there in the back that most men can't reach. I know where that is because I'm a masseur, so I know where the G spots are. That's uh, another show. <laughs> do we have do we have diagrams for that one? We should have diagrams we, for that yes, one. Good look. <laughs> <laughs> we could even get one of those skeletons, or you know, and or point out like where. Well, yeah, <laughs> oh, fuck it, I'll just spread my legs. They can all have a look up my job. <laughs> I'm thinking now that you need a spare room for Gloria's office. <laughs> Kay's cleaning supplies. <laughs> She's got this fetish. No, it's not a fetish. It kind of is. I think it really is. Because oh, I get um, off on she it. She just submitted it on national TV. <laughs> that her fetish is cleaning supplies. So if you want to get off with the lovely Kay and do a photo shoot, can I please come and do a photo shoot? Bring some with you. <laughs> I prefer flash. Flash. Yeah. flash. Other cleaning products are available. <laughs> flash and mop. You're need it. Well, she does admit to being OCD as well. So. <laughs> but no, thank you for the questions. That is it for this time. 
Um, I'm sure there'll be more questions for Ask Lawyer. And there's going to be lots of questions going on tonight because I want to know about this squirting thing. And I'll get back to you on that. And um, obviously I can't take the cameras in there. <laughs> well. well. Yeah. Well, my nah. my rules. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to get Steve to play the next tune and then we'll be right back. And this time we're going to be back with Mel. Did I say we were going to be back with you before? Uh, yeah, and then mm. she disappeared for a fag. She went for a fag. <laughs> <laughs> but she's back now, so we're going to go back to Mel and find out what she does and um, the exciting things she can talk about. And I can't wait. And I, I know about it because you know this is the second take, duh. Still recording? Yeah, it's still recording. So, Steve, next one, please. Thank you. Be right back with another week. And I hadn't said it for a week. <laughs> but I wasn't going to correct you. <laughs> Sorry? I've gone for a week, not a bad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we did put that back as well, though. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I said I wasn't going to put that too on the face. I'm wrong, I'm wrong. What harm? It's quite funny when you go to the playroom and do that. Yeah. <laughs> Is it all the wee heads like weird cats? Like, <laughs> oh, let that jump in. <laughs> Now you know why I've been in my slippers all night. <laughs> you relax too much, you. You're not an off day, she's somewhere at court. She's gone green now from purple, haven't she? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What have you been doing to her? No. Not right now, just. Yeah. One, one foot in front of the other. That oh, was better, come back. <laughs> That's a bit yeah. fancy, that one. the next show um, you won't be disappointed um, also we're thinking of going skinny dipping yes 
we're also thinking they're going to so there's a lot lot more of Blackpool to come out this is the first part there could be two or three parts to this show because I've got a wedding to go to official photographer mm, thank you I'm not scared at all <laughs> 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 so um, yes and um, it's got to be done <laughs> thank you Steve perfect but um, this is the end of my show don't forget I'm always here for you everybody's here for you get out of your comfort zone go and do something new go and do something that um, just gets you out of gets you out of the house you know I'm always here for you ask Gloria you can ask me any question you like I won't be shocked at all I promise you and I shall leave you now it's time to move on I love these guys. Big, big, big clap for all of you. Thank you so much for this. I love that too so much. We are going to carry on. The show for you is over. But we're not stopping. It's only midnight, isn't it? It's only midnight. We're not stopping. And it's... What's today? Oh, it's Wednesday. So we've still got Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's going to be busy this weekend, isn't it? So from Blackpool, paradiseblackpool.co, with the lovely Mel, Kay, Sandy, and the romantic Steve, you take care of each other, and I'm always here for you. I love you all, and good night. Good night. I love you all. Hey!